Did you know that humans have not only landed on our moon, but other planets' moons, other planets, a comet, and an asteroid? Let's learn more about that today on Space Course. For thousands of years, space exploration has been limited to just gazing up at the heavens. That all changed at the invention of the telescope. We were now privy to the solar system's secrets in a way never seen before. Men always thought we needed more information, and in the late 20th century, we started doing things that many thought would be impossible. Exploring extraterrestrial bodies by landing spacecraft directly on the surface of planets and moons. The first of many was Venus by the USSR, their Venera mission in 1961 and in 1984. As Venus is our closest neighbor, as near as 38 million kilometers at times, it was the first place to be probed. On March 1st, 1966, the Venera 3, a Soviet-controlled space probe, oh so gently crash-landed on Venus. It was not until three years later, however, that the Venera 7 landed on Venus, this first spacecraft to successfully land on another planet and send back data. Of course, we can't leave out the moon, but not the Apollo missions, the USSR in 1959. The moon is the closest extraterrestrial body to Earth and therefore would be the most explored. The first ever mission to the moon was the Soviet Luna 1 in 1959, and it only took 36 hours to make the trip to the moon, traveling an average speed of 10,500 kilometers an hour. The Apollo 11 mission in 1969 brought the first human, Neil Armstrong, to walk on the moon, one of the most memorable events in mankind's history. Of course, next up would be Mars. Mars 2 lander on November 27, 1971 became the first man-made object to reach the surface of Mars, but we did not sustain contact after its crash landing. The most successful exploring mission is the Curiosity rover. It landed on Mars in August of 2012 and has been thoroughly exploring Mars' surface recently due to the possibility of evidence of its life-sustaining capabilities. It has been performing geological research ever since it landed. One of Saturn's largest moons, Titan, was explored by the Cassini-Huygens spacecraft in 2004. It was a joint mission by NASA, ESA, and, and ASI. It is said that many of Titan's landscapes had been formed by flowing waterways, a feat that is so far unique in outer space. Now onto the asteroid. In 2003, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, launched the Hayabusa probe. Its mission was to rendezvous with asteroid 25143 Itokawa in 2005. Itokawa became the first asteroid from which samples were captured and brought back to Earth for analysis. The spacecraft launched Hayabusa, Japanese for Falcon, touched down twice on the asteroid and collected a small amount of dust despite the failure of the mechanism designed for the purpose. It delivered the sample to Earth on June 13, 2010, which surprisingly did contain pieces of the asteroid. Comet 67P Comet 67P wasn't the first choice for mission planners. Initially, ESA was aiming for a 2003 launch to target Comet 46P. A rocket failure, however, forced the mission to be postponed and changed the target to 67P in 2004. The Rosetta spacecraft safely arrived in August of 2014 and deployed its lander, Philae, in November. The landing did not go as planned. Philae's harpoons did not deploy to attach to the surface. The lander drifted for more than two hours, periodically touching the surface before coming to rest on its side. The lander relies on solar panels to recharge, and in that zone of the comet, there was not enough sunlight to keep it active for long. Philae did, however, have backup battery and kept the science going for a few days. A month before its mission ended, Rosetta captured an image of the lander's grave. And that's pretty much it for cool pictures of places we've landed on so far. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys will come and check out some more videos. If you did like this, click the like button and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Space Course.